we have proven that PowerPoint is indeed a very useful tool for us. But what if I tell you there's more to it than creating slides, adding text, or transitions? Here are the five features of PowerPoint you wish you knew earlier. Hi there, it's me again, Teacher Jelly. Ang inyo, Teacher Alang Lukun. Happy 12,500 subscribers! Yay! I want to thank these people who fulfill the purpose of our channel, which is to inform. Thank you so much for supporting this channel from 0 to 12,000. Expect for more useful videos and surprises. By the way, the 10 winners of the workbook giveaway will be announced tomorrow. Live on our Facebook page. So if you are one of those 100 um, submitted entries, please don't forget to check our page for the live announcement if you are new here don't forget to click subscribe in this video i'll be showing you the five least popular but equally useful features of powerpoint let's go <laughs> first on the list is the shape merger I find this tool very useful since I like creating my own clip arts and objects in my presentation. So if you're like me, you'd love this too. Say you want to make this cute coffee cup clip art. The first thing that you're gonna do is click insert and then insert shape. And we're gonna choose this shape over here. And then choose the color that we like and the outline that we like. I always change the thickness of the outline of my shapes. Gives me a thicker line looks sharper. Next is we want to create this zarf or like the cop sleeve that we say. To do that insert again choose a rectangle shape just put it over there on our first shape and then copy this one the next thing that we're gonna do is to merge these two shapes select the first shape on top and the second one then go to format and select merge shape we actually have one, two, three, four, five options over here. If you're gonna select union, it's gonna look like this. Combine fragment. Irregular form or irregular shape. I'm just gonna draw like a wavy 
line or wavy shape. I'm gonna select these two shapes and go to merge shape. This time, I'll be choosing this option. I know it doesn't look the same with the other one that I created, but I think you got the point. Using the shape merger feature, we can create new shapes, forms, and objects. The next feature is the format painter. So assuming we haven't created our cup of coffee all right so whenever you create or insert a new shape the default color would be like this right so if you want to make your task easier you can simply copy the format of your pre-created shapes okay so for example, I want to copy the color and format of this cover or lid. All I have to do is to click that shape, go to home, and select this teeny tiny brush, which is the format painter. What a format painter does is it's gonna copy the format of the shape that you selected to another shape. Let's try if you click it once, you can copy it to another shape once. But if you click it twice, you can copy the format of the selected shape several times. One, two, three. You see, saves time, saves effort and energy. Let's try one more time. Again, all you have to do is to select the shape. And then go to home, select format painter, click it once if you're just going to copy it to just one shape like this. But if you want to copy the format of a shape a lot of times, click it twice. One, two, three, four. See? And that's the beauty of the format painter. The next least popular but very useful tool is the grouping feature of PowerPoint. So for example, I already created this very cute cup of coffee, but I can't move them all at once, okay? Because it's not really, you know, an entire clip art. It's not as a whole because these are just shapes put together. So how will you group the shapes to make it a one whole cup of coffee simply select all the shapes and then press control okay so i'm gonna start selecting this one and now i'm pressing control select while pressing control all right select 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 and Control G. Now you have all the shapes grouped together. Okay, again, select all of the shapes and press Control G. Now I can easily move my cup of coffee anywhere, plus, I can resize it however I like it. Next is the pen tool. I think it's one of the least popular features because we don't really see the pen tool whenever we are creating our slides, right? The only time that we're going to see our pen tool is when we're already on our slideshow mode. So let's try. Let's click slideshow over here. Or you can also click it here and from the beginning. Now we're already on the slideshow mode. Cor I want you to look on the lower left corner because here we got a few tools, okay? So you got here the next and the previous button. 
and then you also have the laser pointer the pen the highlighter and eraser tools so let's try the pen tool so here you can write on your presentation while you are conducting or while you are presenting your powerpoint let's try so for example i want to say so this is the lid oh it's the and this is the zarf <laughs> and this is the coffee bin if you are teaching a diagram if you are trying to point out some parts of your concept the pencil would be a really great feature for you by the way we can also change the color of our pen so we can make it green and several other colors so let's try the laser pointer you can also use that while presenting and if ever we made a mistake, we can easily erase any of our writings on our PowerPoint by clicking the eraser. Highlighter. The last feature that I'd want to discuss in this video is the audio recording or screen recording feature. I am using PowerPoint 2013. So if you're using PowerPoint 2013, just like me, you're going to see or you're going to have an audio feature. But if you are using higher versions like 2016, you're going to have a screen recording feature over here next to the audio. But because I'm using 2013, I don't have the screen recording feature. We have two options. So we can either insert an audio that's already on our computer. So for example, I want to insert a drum roll sound effect. See, okay, now we have the audio icon and we can play that. Or we can also record directly here on PowerPoint. So all we have to do is select record audio and press this red button and then start recording no need to use any other applications no need to install a voice recording app just directly record on your powerpoint another important and useful thing about this is you can cut a part of your audio that you think should be removed so all you have to do is click the audio icon click playback click trim audio and start cutting some parts so as you can see we have here the green bar which signifies the start of your um, audio file and the red bar which signifies the end of your audio file and right away you have edited your very own audio I hope you learned something new but always remember that it's not about how much you learn but how much you apply so i encourage you to try those features yourself see how it works and use it if you need to i'll see you again on my next video champre bye bye level up level up level up <laughs>